What's up guys, it's Hanifi and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the power of dodging and burning and how you can use it in your retouching process. So let's get started with the video. What's up guys, it's Hanifi here. Before you continue with this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more content like this and also turn on my notifications which is important and I really need you guys to subscribe to my channel please. Um, that is just a way of supporting the channel if you don't buy prints. So let's get on with the video and tell you guys about dodging and burning. Now, this video is for anybody that's new to dodging and burning, or if you already have a little idea about it, you might learn a bit more from this video. So, dodging and burning basically is making some parts of your image bright, so making some parts darker. It can't just be, it's not just for skin. I think I've used and burning in my previous video maybe to like lighten the eyes any other part of the body apart from skin dodging makes your image brighter and burning makes it darker that's the very like the most simple explanation for what dodge and burn is so right now i'm going to be showing you guys two ways to go about this i'm going to be using the retouch like catering panel and also doing the whole thing from scratch if you don't have the retouch like catering panel so this will work for anybody as long as you have photoshop installed on your personal computer or mac now i've already done frequency separation on this as you can see i've already done frequency separation on this i'm just going to go ahead and use my retouch academy first the next i'm going to do this whole thing from scratch so first thing i'm going to do is just click the dodge option just remember that dodging makes it brighter and as you can see the retouch academy i've told you that it's just to brighten it and then burning makes it darker so now before you start the old dodging and burning there are lots of things that you'll have to note there are certain parts of the skin that you dodge and there are certain parts of the skin that you burn now you dodge your highlights and you burn your shadows it's as easy as that now these are your highlights the highlights are basically the brighter parts of your image i've said this before in my frequency separation tutorial so you guys can go check check that out the highlights are brighter parts of your image like here 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 and here and then your know, um, shadows are basically the darker parts of the image. That is the best way to describe it. Now, before you start the old Dodge and Burn process, what you'd want to do is turn your image black and white. Now, doing this, you would be able to, um, like, your highlights and your shadows will be more pronounced. They will pop more, and you'll be able to, like, easily differentiate your highlights from your shadows since they're not colored since just black and white as you can see these are your highlights the brighter parts of your image and then these darker parts are your shadows and then you switch to a brush make sure it's a white brush and make sure your flow is set to like let's say nine so it won't be too much make sure your flow is set to nine so you won't like over brighten it yeah and then you can start your dodge and burning you should your brush shouldn't be too small but it should be big enough to cover where the highlights are you can zoom in a little bit but don't zoom in too much so you don't get lost in the process so what you want to do is just brush over the brighter parts of your image I don't, I don't want dodge and burn unless I have to and I think it should be the same way for everyone else so don't dodge and burn unless you really have to because like as you can see well, it's that easy to dodge now let's go to the burning of the image now burning is basically darkening so but just make sure you don't overdo it don't over dodge you don't over burn so you just Just know where to dodge and where to burn. With practice, you'll understand more where to dodge and where to burn. As you can see, I'm barely doing anything. Like, I'm barely making any heavy strokes. I'm barely making heavy strokes. So, 
as you can see guys that's the whole dodge and burn of this image now if it's too much you can always reduce the intensity now this is before this is after dodge and burn the dodge and burn has made everything more pronounced yeah basically the image and the skin pops more so i move the black and white layer and as you can see this is a perfect dodge and burning she's perfect and burning like it reconstructs the face it's it's a very nice technique to use when skin retouching so if it's ever too much for you you can reduce the opacity let's say to like 70 that's always fine so as you can see the image has been dodged and burned using the touch like a panel now i'm going to be showing you guys the whole process of doing this whole thing from uh, scratch so this is the process if you want to do your, the whole thing from scratch what you want to do is use your curves basically you go to your rgb curves and then you go to your midtones to um dodge let's make it better you just bring your midtones up basically you put it in your you put it here uh, you make it a group and then you alternate and click the mask button so let's rename this group to um dodge now to burn you do the opposite go to your midtones and bring it all down basically like put it in a group alternate mask and then you change to burn that's basically that's as easy as, as this now you can always do the same process over again now let me just do this process again to show you guys that it will all give you the same result no matter what you use if you use the retouching panel or you use um dodge and burn from scratch so let's give you the same result now you can also you can also follow this process and save it as an action so you don't always have to um, use your curves. Like if you have a lot of images to work on, you can always save this process as an action. So yeah, basically. Now let me go back to my brush. Remember your flow should be set to nine, or it can always be any number um, smaller, just so um, the intensity isn't too much. So now we're going to be burning again. Shadow, just don't overdo it when dodging and burning. You can see it's giving us the same result as it did before. Just note these are the areas that you should always dodge and burn most of the time. So it's basically the same result as you can see, guys. It has made the highlights brighter, and then we switch over to our burn layer. Then I want I would advise to dodge more than burn depends on the situation because um dodging makes highlights brighter so the highlights are like more responsible for the um shape of the face to show the face more i don't know if you guys get what i mean but the highlights are more responsible of showing the face structure than the shadows the shadows also play a good role but personally my own opinion is um with um i i should you should dodge more than you should burn so you shouldn't overburn because it's make the skin look weird and too dark for the reason so yeah that this is basically the same thing as you can see guys i've dodged and burned this image from scratch and i've also dodged and burned using the touch like any panel so that's basically the power of dodge and burn guys that's all for this video if you love this video make sure you subscribe to my channel for more content like this also turn on my notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one bye